what is the value of k given that you have k times k times k plus k equals 10 then let's have it to be solution from here so we have k times k we give us k squared times k plus k equals 10. so from here k squared times k we give us k to the power of 3 plus k equals we can have tends to be 8 plus 2. so from here let's group this and this together so we have it to be k to the power of 3 minus 8 you have them as this then plus k minus 2 in parentheses we have them as this then let's set everything to be equal zero so from here we have k this to the power of 3 let's have 8 to be in base 2 as 2 to the power of 3 as this then plus k minus 2 then everything equals 0 then let us recall anytime when we have a to the power of 3 minus b to the power of 3 always equals as a minus b in parentheses multiplied by a square minus plus a b plus b square so let's apply it here definitely here will be k our a is k our b is 2 k minus 2 when you apply it to this one then here will be k square plus a is 2 multiplied by b is a is k b is 2 so here will be 2k then plus 2 square then from here we also have plus k minus 2 in parentheses then we have everything to be equal to 0 so from here we have k minus 2 in common so we can have factor it out to be k minus 2 then the, the whole of this expression k minus 2 in parentheses multiplied by this divided by this one we are going to left with only k square plus 2k plus 2 to the power of 2 give us 4 then k minus 2 in parentheses divided by this we give us 1 so here will be 1 then we still have them to be equal to 0 so from here we have k minus 2 in parentheses multiplied by k square plus 2k then plus 4 plus 1 will give us 5 then equal 0 now for this expression to be equal 0 is either we have k minus 2 equals 0 or we have k square plus 2k plus 5 to be equals 0 and so by from here we have k to be equals 2 why from here we have to apply the quadratic formula where we are going to apply k equals minus b positive or negative root of b square minus 4 ac divided by 2a where we have parameter a to be the coefficient of k square meaning that our a equals 1 the coefficient of k square then our b the coefficient of k which is 2 then our c is 5 and so from here we have to substitute each value of a b and 5 here to get another solution apart from this k equals 2 so from here we are going to have k to be equals minus in parentheses into parentheses of into 2 positive or negative roots of 2 square minus 4 a is 1 then c is 5 then all divided by 2 times 1 so from here we have k to be equals minus times plus that is here here will be minus 2 positive or negative roots of 2 times 2 to the power of 2 give us 4 minus 4 times 1 is 4 times 5 we give us 20 then all divided by 2 so from here we have k to be equals minus 2 positive or negative roots of 4 minus 20 we give us minus 16 then all divided by 2 then mind you that when we have roots of minus a can be simplified as roots of a multiplied by root of minus 1 
So we have to apply it here, meaning we are going to have k to be equals minus 2 positive or negative root of 16 multiplied by root of minus 1, then all divided by 2. Again, we have to note that root of 16 equals root of 4 times 4 can be simplified as 16, which equals root of 4 to the power of 2, and this equals 4. Because this and this we cancel out. So we have k to be equals minus 2, positive or negative 4, multiplied by root of minus 1, then all divided by 2. Then we have to mind you that root of minus 1, I mean this negative 1, equals i in a complex space. So therefore we have k to be equals from here, minus 2 plus 4, positive or negative 4i, all divided by 2. So from here we have k to be equals minus 2, let's divide by this 2, positive or negative 4i, divide by this 2. So we have k minus 2 divided by this 2, we have minus 1, positive or negative, 2 here is 1, but 2 here will give us 2, we have here to be 2i. Meaning we have this complex solution. We also have the real solution to be equals 2. Then let us now check. Remember we have k times k times k plus k uh, equals 10. So when k equals 2, honestly, here will be 2 times 2 times 2 plus 2 then it's going to give us 10. 2 times 2 is 4, times 2 plus 2 is going to equal 10. 4 times 2 is 8, plus 2 equals 10. So from here, we have 8 plus 2 to be 10 equals 10. So since the left hand side equals to this right hand size, this implies that k equals to satisfied. Then let us also verify when k equals minus 1, positive or negative 2i. But you know we can simplify this further to be k1 equals minus 1 plus 2i. Then k2 to be equals minus 1 minus 2i. So to now substitute it here and verify whether the left hand side will be equal to the right hand side you can complete that if you are new here and you find this video interesting don't forget to share like comment and subscribe to our youtube channel for more master tutorial videos bye